Hi, I'm Kristen. I'm a Zoe Life health coach, author, and speaker. But most importantly, I'm head of her Hills in Love with Jesus. I am passionate about helping people live a healthier, more fulfilling, purposeful life. And I love and enjoy getting in touch with the decisions that they can make so that their body outlasts the calling that the Lord God has on their life. If you're interested in growing deeper in love with the Lord or spirit, soul, body, wholeness, and fullness, or simply about these choose life choices that are just simple tweaks that you can make in your everyday life to help position you for more of God's blessings, I invite you to subscribe and follow along because that's exactly what I'm talking about. All right, in this video, I'm offering a choose life choice for your body. And that is about how to work out. Usually in summertime, you have a little bit more free time just because there's less of a schedule to carry, less of a school schedule and a homework schedule and the high activity schedules and athletic schedules that comes in the fall and the spring and even in the winter time. And so during the summertime, as you might have a little bit more margin in your life, I want to encourage you to fill that with moving your body. And I'm not asking you to be aggressive. I'm just asking you to be consistent. That is the goal. That's the aim is consistency, but specifically with Jesus. I want you to move your body with him. I remember years ago, and this was when I was a personal trainer. And these are 20 plus years ago when I was head of heels in love with Jesus, as well as working 50, 60 hours a week as a personal trainer, helping others get fit and, you know, for their season of life or whatever was happening for them. I still had this separation between doing things for your body or do, or spending time with the Lord in a time of intimacy. For example, if I maybe had 45 minutes of getting ready time, I would just decide, okay, am I going to have 20 minutes of a quiet time and 25 minutes of I'm working out, or maybe I'll just have a nice 45 minute time with the Lord and a quiet time with him, or perhaps I'll do, and I'm just work out hard and then I'll have a quiet time later. Like it really was either, or I didn't know how to integrate. I didn't know how to do the both until some years later, until the Lord was showing me to do it with him. So I actually do this. I offer workouts for people to show them how to connect with God intimately in the working out. This is different than just moving your body. Let's just say you're going for a walk, going for a walk and listening to something, listening to a great message. This is with him, doing it with him. So it might be more in conversation with him. So more of a prayer walking, or perhaps it might be, um, there are actually specific workouts I do that moving in sync, in flow with him and this connection and conversation, which I really love because if I focus and get good in that space, it has translated, it has had a domino effect into when I was in the changing diaper season, that was worship. As I'm doing laundry every day, and dishes every day, that is worship. Not like the task is worship, but I'm doing it with Jesus. I, I've gotten um, better. I wouldn't say I'm an expert or excelling at that, but I'm really good about doing it with Jesus, feeling the oneness with him in my core. And then from there, letting him, letting us, the oneness and the oneness of us overflow into my soul, into my body, into all the outer rings of my life. So I want to encourage you to fill your schedule with moving your body. And that'd be great if you find something that you really love, enjoy that doesn't feel like a chore and like a working out, but that feels like just pleasure. Like the walks are peaceful. And the other thing is doing it with him and even start raw, start like, I don't know how to do this with you. I'm so, I've built such a habit of exercising or spending time with you. I don't know how to move my body with you. And just something about that um, raw, vulnerable conversation and just putting your request to him, but I want to, this is what I want to do. I want to do this with you. From there, immediately, you'll start to see change and fruitfulness and his voice will become louder inside you and you will find that you're doing it with him. So that's the choose of choice I'm offering for your body today. Increase the movement in this season of summer. Do it with him the power and the energy of him. Ask him, put your hand on your chest, on your 
on your belly and just say, I, I want you to increase inside me. I want you to expand inside me. I want this oneness and the wanting to take over my soul and body. And absolutely, he's so faithful to answer prayers like that. So that's what I encourage you with. Much love to you, to you today. Choose life, which is really a person, John 14, 6. When we're choosing life, Deuteronomy 30, 19, we're choosing a person, the way, the truth, and life. We're eating from the modern day tree of life. And you'll find more and more freedom in your life, in your story. You'll take more and more territory in the spheres of influence that you're designed to impact it. And then we know more than ever that today is the day. Today is the day of salvation. Now is the time. All right. Much love to you. Talk to you soon. 